T.I. of you almost choking my six months old son to death. This happened today during dinner time. And I still have all that adrenaline in me so I decided to share it here to help myself calm down. Some background context before the fucked up. Me. 25 years. My wife. 24 years. And my son. 6MTHS. Are staying with my parents. My son has recently started on solid foods. Pureed. And he enjoys it. Also. His motor skills has been developing much faster than most babies his age. So, many time we just let him be, thinking he'll be fine. Moving on to the fuck up. During dinners my son would usually join us in his high chair eating his baby bites. Biscuit for baby. It was the same tonight just that he was asking for more this time. So we decided giving him apples might be a good idea since he likes the pureed version. My mom then proceeds to cut a slice of apple. Normal adult size slice. We then feed him the apple, letting him suck on it. Then my wife asked my mom to cut smaller so that he can eat it. My mom replied saying that she's worried that if it's too small he might end up breaking it with his gum and choke himself. But in the end we somehow got my mom to cut it into smaller bite size. So, we just continued our dinner while talking about what to do if a baby does get choke. Heimlich maneuver. CPR. Basically topic around those area. Then we hear a tiny apple crunch. He was still happily eating. So we continue chatting and eating. But shortly after my wife shouted for me saying he's really choking. I turned and saw my son's face turning red purple-ish. No sound was coming out of him. I instantly shot up from my chair removed him from his high chair and tried to perform the Heimlich maneuver for babies, basically mimicking from a vague memory of what I saw on YouTube years ago. And then he coughed and started crying. This was the first time that I'm glad to hear my sons cry. Now I'm having a slight headache from all that adrenaline rush, but I'm glad my son is alive and kicking. Thanks to that random YouTube video I watched years ago. Edit 1. My wife saw this post and she corrected one of my mistake. It was actually my sister who suggested to cut the apple into smaller slices. We just didn't disagree with the idea. Edit 2. OMG. This really blew up I posted this before going to work. I work night shift. It was only about 100 plus upvotes before I left for work and I could still keep up with all the comments while I was at work. I kept receiving notifications. Then I saw 2k upvotes. And now 20k. I never thought my first post on RTIFU would get 20k upvotes and thousand over comments and all those awards. Really want to thank everyone for your concern. My son is fine actively crawling around. Edit 3, I saw some comments about CPR certification. I served the military for two years, so I was trained to do CPR, but on adults, not babies. I only knew about it because I spend way too much time on YouTube. TL, dear we fed my six months old son some apple causing him to choke. I performed the Heimlich maneuver for babies based on a vague memory of a YouTube video to save him. Oh man my little girl once choked on one of those gummy treats meant for little kids. Went blue and all. I tried Heimlich and all but eventually just had to reach an AMD pull it out. She was too. Knew she had to chew but just forgot I guess. I cried and just held her for a good 15 minutes at least. Hey up, you should take your son to the doctor to make sure he is alright. My CPR certification has run out, so my info is a little old. But about 5 years ago I went through a pretty in-depth course. 5 months, that spent a bit on choking babies. Basically, this is true of anyone who requires Heimlich other choking maneuvers. But particularly for babies. Any time choking happens there can be throat damage, and the maneuvers to resolve it can cause issues with the lungs or other internal organs. Unlikely, your son has issues. 
but definitely worth a visit. I'm guessing you'll listen to your mom next time. Smiley face. Glad your son is okay. I'm glad he's okay now. I felt scared even when reading this story. Just a general FYI. Never, ever feed toddlers and small children hot dogs that have not been split lengthwise. A hot dog is the same size as a child's trachea. Splitting it ensures that it does not block the trachea in case of choking. Hot dogs are the most common food they choke on. Get one of these things, a mesh feeder. I'm sure you know this but with all the adrenaline may have forgotten. Make sure to call your pediatrician to let them know what happened and find out if you need to. Bring your son in to be checked out. Please call your pediatrician and let them know what happened. They may want to check out the baby to make sure the apple didn't get into the lungs or that any damage was sustained by the treatment for choking. My daughter was born with pyloric stenosis. Basically the valve above her stomach was closed. So after she ate a bottle, within a few minutes she was projectile vomiting. Every time. One day, she didn't get it all out apparently. After cleaning her up I laid her in her bassinet in the bedroom and went to clean the mess in the other room. Randomly I felt something was wrong and went to check on her. She looked like she was gasping for air but there was no noise. She was choking on vomit. I grabbed her up and tried hitting her back nothing. Laid her over my knee and continued hitting her back, still nothing. I started freaking out and called 911. I literally flipped her upside down, holding her by her legs and kept smacking her back while trying to explain to the person on the phone what was happening. She started crying. So did I. The lady on the phone still sent the paramedics because I'm honestly not sure how long this was going on but it felt like an eternity. She said she could have been without oxygen for a long time. Thank God they came. Because that was when we discovered it was pyloric stenosis causing the vomiting and that she had actually gotten very little to no nourishment in her entire three months out of womb. Much longer and she would have died. Choking actually saved her life. When things like that happen, some superhuman strength, physical and mental, seemed to take over. She's 10 years old now and loves to hear the story of when mommy saved my life, lol no matter how. Many times I tell her I was just doing my job. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, they say. Look into baby lead weaning. They recommend long, thin stick-like slices. Makes it easy for baby to hold and bite. Did it with both my kiddos. Some gagging along the way but that is normal. And definitely never turn your back on an eating baby. Best of luck to you. You have many more near-death scares ahead rolling on the floor laughing. Please take them to get checked. Any choking, especially in babies, can cause scarring and can result in aftermath swelling. Every parent, he is much further ahead than the other kids his age, yeah, okay. Apples are a choking hazard until 4. Please read up on it in other hazards. It's not only the size, but texture and shape. Glad you knew what to do. A toddler choked on apple at a daycare here in New Zealand. His life support was switched off a few days later when tests revealed there was no brain function remaining. I hate to beat that person but a six-month-old is too young to be dealing with apple as a solid. Even as a parent that followed baby led weaning I never made that an option. People here will give you enough shit about giving your baby finger food at his age so I'm here. Just for this, you guys made a mistake. Like every parent and especially new ones. That could have escalated to a very dangerous situation. Babies have the tendency to be in danger from the most ridiculous stuff sometimes. But you guys solved it. Like it is expected. And now you have learned your lesson and that's the end of it. You guys are still great parents smile. 
glad everyone is okay. Next time use a cheese grater and grate the apple. Works really well. Never do abdominal thrust. Heimlich. On a baby. Back blows and chest thrusts only. Start with back blows. Between the shoulder blazers. Open palmed in a slightly upward motion towards the head. Make sure you support the head. A maximum of 5 blows. Check the airway between each. If that fails try 5x chest compression and repeat. But I repeat do not attempt a Heimlich on an infant. Glad your son is okay. You might think about brushing up on your CPR skills if you're rusty. I read TIFU choking my 6 months old son to death. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.